Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, Twin Flame, bonus Twin Flame reading <coughs> for Libra. This is going to be for your April 2024, for the rest of your April 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see how your Twin Flame journey is going with your Twin Flame. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Libra people. Not tapping into one specific person's energy in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's taken specifically to your unique situations and energies, I suggest you to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when the new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on those too. Uh, what else? Uh, that's it. Let's get started for Libra. Talk about Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. What is going on with Libra? How is their twin flame journey going with their twin flame for April 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Libra, for Libra, for Libra. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy could be dealing with the fire sign here. You might have fire energy in your chart with the Ace of Pentacles here. And we have the Four of Wands. Okay. Somebody here is ready to commit to you. The Chariot, Cancer energy. I feel like somebody here is ready to move forward here with you when it comes to this twin flame connection here. Um, you know, I feel like they want to move towards calmer waters here or that you are trying to move towards calmer waters. My only worry, my only concern here, Libra, is that this person could be very immature with the pages here. Um, you know, I feel like this person, you know, might be showing themselves that, that, that like they're ready, but I feel like this person is not really ready for that. You know, sometimes that page of wands, you know, when it comes to a romantic relationship, yeah, they could be really excited, you know, they could be really eager to take, take things to the next level here, but it also could be indication that they are only looking for friends with benefits here too. With that page of pentacles, yeah, they're making strong promises, but this person could also be very lazy about making things happen here, all right? With the page of wands, we have the seven of swords, yeah, uh, you can't trust this person's offer here. Yeah, you can't trust this person's offer here because I feel like this person still has some sort of, you know, still is very immature about how relationships relationships, relationships operate here. They're just not on the same level as you here with the Emperor here, uh, uh, Libra, with the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Seven, uh, the, not the Seven, the Chariot here and the Three of Cups here. If there is separation here, I do feel like the, whoever this is, I do feel like this person does want to reconnect with you here. And they, they are looking for another opportunity. The problem is with this situation here, I feel like there is, this person's very, very, very emotionally closed off and guarded here. And they feel like this person doesn't really offer you a safe space to express yourself emotionally here. So that is a huge issue because nothing is getting resolved when that happens. The Page of Pentacles here and the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. We have the Six of Swords here and the Four of Swords. Four plus six is ten. Some of you here could be coming to terms that this situation that they're in with somebody here is over. Because someone here is operating in the ego. Someone here is not listening. Someone here is not understanding somebody here. Someone here is not putting themselves into other people's shoes here. So that is a huge issue here. And, you know, it's not your job to convince this person that, you know, they need to change or that they need to, need to open up uh, or, or listen here. That is on th their terms here. You know what I mean? So you can't make this person do something that they're not ready to do. What else do we have here for Libra? What else does Libra need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this twin flame journey for April 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for the rest of April 2024. Okay, so we have the three of wands. We have the moon, Cancer, Pisces. We have the six of cups. We have the four of pentacles. 
we have the king queen of pentacles and then we have the king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy I do feel like there's a fear of someone here walking away from somebody. I mean, either, either could be you, either could be your person here, okay? But there's a sense of not wanting to let go of this connection here It's you. Yeah, even though this person might be treating you in a way where they're not giving you, offering you that safe space for you to express yourself emotionally or vice versa, there is the energy of not wanting to leave this. Six of Wands and the uh, Three of Wands. The Moon. And the Empress here, Libra, Taurus energy. There's definitely a fear of letting go. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it could be a situation that both of you guys could be feeling lonely without each other here. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles here. It could be that a fear of abandonment or insecurities are setting in here for somebody here too, or for both of you guys. Oh, seems like, you know, I do feel like one of you guys or even both of you guys could be holding on to dear life. There's definitely some sort of obsession here or that there's codependency here that's happening between you and your person here. It's almost like I feel like you both of you guys can't live without each other, but I feel like this is very unhealthy. Yeah, this is very unhealthy uh, because I, it's almost like I, I need this person in order for this person to make me happy. You know, I need this person in order for me to feel good about myself or to feel fulfilled. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the King of, of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? The King of Wands and the Nine of Cups. I do feel like we have a masculine here that's only looking out for themselves. Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups here. I don't feel like this person has any sort of interest in, you know, in just hearing you out. I feel like, if anything, I feel like this person, I, you know, when I feel like you expressed yourself, this person's met with resistance and, 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 and defensiveness here. All right. What else do we have here for Libra? Two of Wands. I do feel like you do have a big decision to make here regarding this relationship, regarding this twin flame connection here. With the king to the queen of wands, you have some true pairs here. I actually see some of you guys just letting this go and really trusting your guides and your angels and your ancestors here. You're being guided to sort of like leave the situation because nothing is really coming out of it at this moment here. And I feel like a lot of the issues that you guys have been dealing with here is not being resolved. And I feel like it's definitely creating a snowball effect here, okay? Where I feel like, you know, there's like a ton of elephants in the room and I feel like you guys don't even know where to start on resolving the situation here. Yeah, somebody here is holding on to dear life, unable to let this relationship go. It's starting to become toxic. It's starting to become toxic here. And I feel like the universe is definitely trying to step in to wake you up or wake both of you guys up here. Either you guys can work things out together here or that you guys separate. I do feel like there's a lack of maturity on someone's end here. I do. So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.